Hi everyone, welcome to the Ghost Train private demo booth here at NAB 2023. Uh, we're just wrapping up here, so it's a great time just to recap a little bit on what we've been doing here at, uh, at the Ghost Train uh, VIP booth uh, at uh, Las Vegas and what's been happening on the floor. So we're actually in the room at the moment. You can see behind me an LED wall, looks pretty normal, and that's kind of the point of Ghost Train really. So Ghost Train is a production tool set which enables you to hide video images in a wall which are completely invisible to the naked eye, as you can't see, uh, but are visible through a camera. At the same time, maintaining this completely natural uh, naked eye view on the wall that you have behind me. And only Ghost Frame can do this. Um, so we need to have a look at really what's happening here to explain uh, what's going on with Ghost Frame. So what we've got uh, is one image which is a naked eye view. It's the one you can see. In this particular example, uh, we've got a second image. Um, here it's the nighttime uh, uh, complementary image to the naked eye. Um, it's a driving plate at the moment. Um, and that image is um, hidden from view, but it is visible through a camera. In this particular setup, we've got a third image as well, uh, which is a green screen. Again, that's invisible to the naked eye. You can't see it behind me, but it is there and it is on the camera. The other thing we're doing here and showing, which is also a first for us, is we're showing Ghost Frame working with lighting. Now, every scene needs to be lit. Otherwise, in this particular case, if I had no lighting from the front, I would only have lighting from behind. Uh, and that would look weird. I'd be in shadow, wouldn't look good at all. Um, so we have some lighting around us. And we're, we're using pretty new lighting panels here, which are just being launched here at the, uh, at the show at, uh, at NAB. Um, I want to draw your attention, though, to, to two really important things. We have some of these lights uh, that are set up for the daytime view, some that are set up for the nighttime view. And if we go back to look at these two different views, you will be able to see that this light panel here is set up for the daytime view. It's providing the key light, actually, um, for the, uh, where the sun position is. And that's visible on the daytime shot that you can see. It's the naked eye view, actually, on Ghost Frame. Over here, we've got the same key light for the nighttime view, and you can see that that's giving me light from this side, which is set up for the nighttime view. But if we zoom out again and look at both lighting panels on the daylight and the nighttime image, you'll see that only one panel is switched on. So what we're doing here is using Ghost Frame to control uh, the lighting panels to only give you the correct light for the ghost frame scene that you're recording. Green screen on ghost frame means something pretty cool as well. You never ever need to do a big volume uh, green screen shoot again. Why? You still do your green screen shoot, but now it's gonna be hidden in ghost frame. So you don't need to subject your, your talent and your crew to hours and hours and days of days of torture under green screen conditions. You can use uh, your uh, a natural environment on the LED wall. You get a better performance from your talent because they've got something to act to, but you're always recording the green screen in the background and you take the green screen version to post when you do final compositing of your final uh, output. So that's a real uh, benefit of, of using um, Ghost Frame in terms of green screen production because you don't need to shoot in a green screen physical environment anymore. You can use multi-camera on Ghost Frame. And the, the beauty of Ghost Frame is that every camera gets its own view on the LED wall, its own reality. So now you can have multiple frost rooms on the wall at the same time, but they will never cross and they will never merge. Why? Because each frost room has its own layer within Ghost Frame. So every camera and every frost room has its own view, which means you can do all of your virtual production, um, and particularly for using uh, Unreal in a kind of set extension, uh, or AR um, environment, then you can have different views on each camera. That's a real benefit of, uh, of, of Ghost Frame uh, in that particular use case, working in XR and AR with set extension um, that you can use your frost rooms in a way that you could not normally do in an LED production. I'm Alex Pierce from LightSail VR, and today I'm gonna show you a little bit of my cart setup and how we're powering uh, this Ghost Frame demo. So we're using a Silver Draft PC. It's got an A6000 in it. It's got a capture card. It's got sync. We're basically outputting four UHD signals, four 4K signals 
from the SDI capture card. Those four signals are being sent to the Megapixel VR Helios processor, and then they're able to send those signals to the wall and to the KinoFlow Mimic lights separately. So I'll show you a little bit here on the screen of how we mapped it. So if I turn on this layer right here, you can see these darker overlays. And if you look at the top left of the screen here, this is the daytime image that's being sent to the wall. And then the bottom left image is the daytime lighting that's being sent to the Kinoflow Mimic. So LightSail VR did all the plates for this and we captured it in a very unique way that I don't know that many people are using, which is we used a Canon Cinema R5C, which is a cinema camera, and then we we're able to use that for the wall. And at the same time, we, we shot with a 360 video, which we, we can send to the lights. The reason that's important is the, the nighttime scene, this Las Vegas sign, we're gonna lose this part of the picture in the, the camera that's being, to the feed that's being sent to the wall. But in the 360 camera, of course, that continues on. So let's say you're doing a car process. Um, you can continue to see that Las Vegas over the back of the car as you, you would expect to because you can map your lights to that even though it's already left the frame. So now I wanna talk a little bit about the actual software we're using. So Assimilate Live Effects is a live compositing program that, does, that allows for many, many different virtual production uh, applications. So you can use it with Unreal and you can bring Unreal right into Live Effects. Use Live Effects projection mapping. You don't need in display at all. You can just use the projection mapping in Live Effects, which is much faster and easier to set up. Um, another way you can use it is for plate, for video playback. So in this case, we're using just video plates. Live Effects is probably the best program to do that because it, at, it, at its core, it's a color correction software and a DIT software. So it's designed to bring in all sorts of different formats, not just ProRes and MP4, but even RAW formats. So you can actually bring in an 8K Canon RAW file and set the debater settings to half resolution, for, let's say, and then change the, the Kelvin to 5600. You can change all the RAW settings. And obviously the color correction tools in it are also really amazing. And that's one of the things that is interesting about using LiveFX with the Mimics because in LiveFX, it gives you a little bit more of a creative approach. So on this panel, you can see it's a little bit green. And I had the honor of having Frieder, the founder of, of KinoFlow, come in and help me dial in the lights. And he was like, you know, the skin tones are a little magenta. And so I was like, oh, okay, so I'll just add green. And I'll just ex accentuate it here so you can see. But I can add green very, very easily, or magenta, for instance. And we were able to dial in the, the skin tones just perfectly because we have all these powerful color correction tools. And same thing for the other lights. I can show different videos for each different mimic, and that's what I'm doing here. So in this case, this is sort of our key light. And instead of sending it the video file, I'm actually sending it an HDRI that I shot at the same time that I shot these dunes. So I shot these dunes with a Cam Canon R5C, and I also shot an HDRI with, with very, very high dynamic range. And if you see here, I can actually take down the brightness, and you can still see the sun even through all of this. And if I come to this one, you'll see even a better. So you can see there's actually a ton more color information there than it looks like because it's actually shot with a high dynamic range camera. And same, I could do the same with the side lights as well. So I could take these side lights, and in this case, I made them brighter, but I could bring up a ton of color that exists in the HDRI than what, what you see with, with your eye. And for lighting, you, a lot of times you will need to over-exaggerate or, or compensate to make the skin tones look correct. So you're also compensating with a lot of things in the area. I'm very proud of this partnership that's here. I'm very proud of the work we're doing here. And I think it's one of the coolest things to see here at NAB. I'm Alex Pierce, and I'll see you in the next video.